Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to the first edition of our Getting Started on FAIR webinar series. Thanks for joining us today. I see hundreds of participants that have joined us. We're just thrilled to have you here. My name is Katie Layton and I lead our brand success team here at FAIR. Our mission is all about helping our brands like each of you grow their businesses with FAIR. And that's exactly what we're here together to do today. Next slide, Thomas. The purpose of this session is to help you learn a few best practices and tips for success on FAIR and to leave with actionable next steps that you can take today to begin driving further growth with your business. To do this, we're going to give you a bit of background on FAIR, teach you all about how FAIR actually works, share some best practices to increase your sales from both a merchandising and a marketing perspective, give you a glimpse into our roadmap and what's ahead, and then we'll end with some live Q&A. Before we get started, just a couple of quick housekeeping items for the session. If you have any questions or need technical assistance throughout, you can ask via the Q&A bubble in your Zoom window. We have a team of experts on the line with us here today who I'll introduce you to in just a moment, ready to answer these both via text and also during our live Q&A at the end. This session will be recorded and will also be made available on demand following the event. For this reason, all participants have been muted and will be throughout the session. And we will be sending a recording and the slide deck to everyone who has participated here today via email following the event. Before we go ahead and get started, let's do a quick round of introductions of our four FAIR experts have, who have joined me here today and are going to share some of their wisdom with you throughout. Thomas, over to you. Hi, everybody. I am Thomas Sanner. I'm a senior brand success manager and also uh, I focus on the food category at FAIR and have been at FAIR for a little over a year now. Really excited to talk with everyone today. Thank you, Thomas. Uh, my name is Colin. I work uh, on the brand success team and oversee a team of experts of, on brand success uh, across uh, US, UK, and EU. And couldn't be more excited to have all you participants here to, to learn more about FAIR. Thanks, Colin. Um, my name is Bella and I'm part of the brand success team. Um, I'm managing a range of UK brands um, and have been at FAIR um, just a little uh, around two months now. So still new, but really excited to be here today. And I'll hand over to Hayley. Great. Hi, everyone. My name is Hayley. I am a senior sales development rep on our brand partnerships team working on the international um, pod. And I will pass it back to Katie. Wonderful. Now that you've had a chance to meet the team here, I want to start by sharing just a little bit about FAIR with you. FAIR was founded in 2017 with the core belief that the future is local. Our mission is to help entrepreneurs like each of you really chase your dreams. We're here to help you grow each of your businesses. And the way we do this is by helping local retailers discover new and exciting products like yours. FAIR is an online marketplace that connects thousands of emerging and established brands with independent retailers buying wholesale. Next slide. Independent boutiques can often be hard to breach, but collectively they make up the largest wholesale channel out there, larger than Amazon and Walmart combined. Independent retailers generate over a trillion dollars in annual sales, which only continues to grow. And now more than ever, consumers are shopping local, 86% of consumers in fact, and this has only been emphasized by the past year and the COVID-19 pandemic. If you count all of the doors of FAIR's retailers out there, FAIR represents more stores in North America than Starbucks, Walgreens, Walmart, Sephora, Target, and Nordstrom's combined. How many is that, you might ask me? Next slide. That's right, we have over 
200,000 retailers buying through FAIR today in North America and Europe, 20,000 brands across 70 different countries. And on our peak days, we are doing $3 million in sales on the platform. So in summary, FAIR's mission is all about helping entrepreneurs like each of you grow your businesses by making it easier for local retailers and wholesale brands to find one another via our online marketplace. We already have 200,000 retailers out there waiting to purchase your products, and this is only gonna continue to increase. So I'll turn it over to Colin now to share a bit more about how FAIR actually works. Thank you very much, Katie. Um, if you don't mind, Thomas, we can go the, um, the next slide here. And as we continue to empower the shop local movement, we want to make lives easier for both our, our retailer and brand partners. So we want to remove any pain points so that both retailers and brands can focus on their customers' needs. Running a boutique retail store can be both enormously challenging and rewarding experience. In chatting with many retailers, we hear that they love finding products that suit their customers' needs. And a retailer storefront is often a reflection of the, of the retailer's interests. Retailers, though, you know, they may be discouraged from purchasing from new brands due to inventory and capital risks that they really don't want to take on. They tend to become a little risk averse and really stay with the brands that they know. Uh, because of this, we want to provide retailers with easy access to the best brands. So we'll give retailers net 60 payment terms so they can confidently purchase products from brands that they think are a good fit for their customers. We'll offer free returns on first orders. And through a subscription program, we'll offer free shipping. On the brand side, we similarly want to make life easier. By becoming the wholesale destination for retailers, brands gain exposure to 200,000 retailers across the US and now Europe. We're looking to bring more retailers aboard all the time. We also take out the friction of uh, brands having to verify retailers. So brands know that they're re receiving orders from retailers who have a track record of purchasing wholesale and selling to customers. As we'll get into more depth in the next slide, FAIR will guarantee payment on each order so you don't have to chase down late payments. We offer a suite of free marketing tools, which allows you to run your entire wholesale business through FAIR and get your products in more stores across the US and now Europe. And we also provide the easy shipping solutions such as FAIR's own Ship with FAIR that allows you to print shipping labels when accepting orders and send out packages to your customers promptly. So these all allow retailers and brands to save time, money, and, and increase sales. If we go to the next slide, we can take a look at um, guaranteed payment and commission. Thank you. So as we strive to, to make wholesale easy, we want to make sure that payment is really the last thing you need to worry about. So we guarantee payment on each order. So if a retailer is late with a payment, we will work with the retailer directly and that will become FAIR's responsibility. We've also designed our commission structure to make sure that we can drive orders to brands and we only get paid when orders happen. So there are no signup fees or annual contracts. Our commission structure is 25% for first orders with the retailer, 15% for all reorders with that retailer and 0% commission for all FAIR direct orders. And we'll go into FAIR Direct in more depth later on, so you can get started using the program right after this webinar. If we go to the next slide, we can take a quick look at, at how our shipping works. So we've heard from many brands that shipping can be, be an unneeded hassle. You know, brands typically have to spend time working with carriers to get a marginally better rate at the cost of helping their customers and focusing on their craft. So we're hoping to make the shipping process as easy and, and painless as possible. Uh, at FAIR, shipping costs are passed on to the retailer, and retailers pay these costs along with their order on day 60. Uh, through our Ship with FAIR program, uh, we've negotiated rates with carriers so that brands can pass on lower shipping costs to retailers and be assured that their products are delivered promptly. Uh, brands can manage all their shipping needs smoothly through their own brand portal. So this means that they can conveniently accept, edit, and track orders all from one location. And finally, I'd like to take a look at how our search and ranking works. Um, and we get questions you know, about how brands can best present themselves and increase their exposure to more retailers. One of our goals is to put brands in, in front of as many retailers as possible. And it's, it's a process of continued refinement. As we'll chat more about in the next section, we encourage brands to showcase the best versions of themselves. So this means keeping their catalog up to date, 
and their pricing uniform across their website and fair. This also includes adding attributes and brand values to your products to help boost discoverability. Um, and I'd like to also give a quick overview of how our ranking system works. Among other inputs, we look at prior retailer activity and engagement, as well as the brand's performance. For prior retailer activity and engagement, we take into account items like retailer search and purchase history, their responses to fair's purchase quizzes, and their navigation behaviors. We also consider a number of factors based on our brand's performance on fair, including the brand's conversion rate, which looks at the number of retailers that come to a brand's page and then place an order, uh, the brand's response rate to accepting orders, return rates from retailers, retailer reviews, order cancellations from brands, and shipping orders in line with the brand's lead time. So we encourage brands to, to respond to orders as quickly as they can and ship out items in accordance with those lead times. And now we'll, uh, we'll hear from Thomas about a few recommended best practices for brands. Awesome, awesome. Uh, so yeah, before we get into best practices and just following up on Katie and Colin's kind of introduction and how FAIR works, we did want to do a quick poll for everyone that's in attendance just to really get a sense of how well you guys feel like uh, you know how to use FAIR. Uh, so Bella, if, if you could bring up that poll, uh, there's just four answers. You feel like you know fair very well, you know, like you, you feel like you know it well, somewhat well, or not well at all. Uh, and really, this is just to get a sense uh, through the webinar of where everyone's at. And then we can go into best practices. And hopefully, by the end of this webinar, uh, we have more, more in the well and very well compartment. Uh, so just, just looking at the results on, on our end, uh, and Bella, feel free to publish it. It looks like about 50% of you guys uh, know it somewhat well. 23% are kind of, you know it well. Very few know it very well, which uh, I know uh, many of you are, are pretty new to FAIR. Uh, and then hopefully we will increase that 27% that don't know it well at all, uh, just going through this presentation. Uh, but also wanted to, I know there was through the RSVP, there were questions uh, going off of Colin's last slide. There were a lot of questions about how search and ranking work on FAIR. So hopefully that was helpful. And it's a great lead in to talking about the most popular question that you all asked prior to the webinar, which was not surprising, but how do I get more sales on FAIR? So in this section, we'll talk about best practices for increasing sales on FAIR. Uh, so on FAIR, your sales are going to be equal to the amount of traffic you get to your page and the percentage of that traffic that you convert into orders. Uh, so the first thing that we typically focus on with brands is helping increase their conversion rate. We focus here first for new brands because if you're converting traffic into orders when you start on FAIR, then you're going to receive higher placement when it comes to search and ranking, and that helps build momentum for your brand. Second, if you aren't converting traffic into orders, then our best practices for driving traffic become less meaningful. Uh, so with that, we'll start with optimizing your shop page to convert orders. We've done a lot of analysis over the past year around what makes a good shop page on FAIR and have uncovered a number of common themes. One, having a complete catalog is key for having a good conversion rate as buyers don't want to land on a page looking for a product that they know you have and not be able to find it. We also find that the more SKUs you typically have, the more opportunities you typically have to be found in the marketplace just because you have more products to be found. Uh, two, lower lead times we found helps increase conversion rate. Retailers, similar to consumers, tend to like faster ship times as long as they are reliable and accurate. Uh, so you, you need them to be reliable and accurate, but the lower that you can get those lead times down, the higher your conversion rate tends to be. Uh, we also see just making sure that your pricing is competitive uh, and running promotions are great ways to increase conversion on FAIR. Again, similar to a consumer, retailers like promotions, and that's going to help people convert when they land on your page. 
Uh, next, we see that minimums are one of actually the clearest levers for increasing conversion rate. If your minimums are way above the category average or the fair average, it's going to hurt your conversion as the types of shoppers that are on fair typically prefer lower minimums. For reference, for, for your individual brand, the average, and it will depend on category, but the average across fair for minimums is between 100 and 150. Uh, lastly, adding a brand video to your page can really help you share your story with potential buyers and build a connection with them to hopefully convert that first order, but also to get buyers to reorder because they have that connection. Uh, just for reference, you can make all of these changes by going to the marketplace tab in your portal and selecting shop settings. And many of these things, minimums, lead times are all going to be things that you can look at uh, on that page. Next, just going into product specific merchandising. Uh, there are a number of things you can do as a brand to make your products attractive to retailers. The first uh, is just photography is extremely important as this is what's going to grab the attention of the retailer and give them the touch and feel aspect of your product. With that, we see higher conversion on products that have high resolution images, multiple photos, and include things like lifestyle images. Uh, you can make these changes using our bulk uploader uh, or by individually going into these products on your products tab and editing them, uh, editing them uh, individually. Second, making sure your product types are correctly tagged. This is also something from uh, the products tab of your portal that you can change. This will ensure that you're showing up in the correct section of your category tree when retailers use that to shop. Next, creating collections. Uh, so collections are basically just a branded order that you create. The most popular ones are variety packs or bestsellers, but they can also be seasonal around seasonal trends or anything else. They help conversion rate as buyers just have to click once to order a bundle of your products instead of having to go into each product and click through to order. They also just generally trust brands to put together a good curation of their products. So it's one of the best ways to increase conversion on fair. Uh, Next, just using clear, accurate titles and descriptions. Uh, going back to Colin's slide on ranking and search, FAIR pulls filters and search keywords from titles and descriptions. So you want these to be accurate and concise so that when buyers land on your page through search, you have what they're looking for. Uh, fifth, under the Marketplace tab in your portal, you can select the Arrangement button to arrange your shop however you'd like including things like putting your best sellers up at the top or new products at the top of your page or grouping similar items together to make it easier for buyers to see the variety of products that you sell. Uh, and lastly, uh, if you do update your catalog frequently and you're constantly making new products, just making sure to keep that up to date, to keep your page fresh, to keep buyers coming back to your page are all ways uh, that you're going to be able to increase that conversion on your page. And for that, again, you can use the bulk uploader uh, to make this process quick and seamless. Awesome. So everything that we just covered were best practices to help increase conver the conversion side of the equation. Moving on in this sales equation to how to increase traffic, it's first important to reemphasize the fact that if you get the conversion equation right, you're naturally going to start getting more traffic on FAIR because of how ranking and placement work. From there, though, we created a number of ways to proactively boost your traffic to really build your business on FAIR through marketing. So driving traffic on FAIR. For reference, everything that we'll talk about here, you can find in your portal under the marketing tab. So like we've already stated, we have the traditional avenues for driving traffic, such as running promotions. Promotions, again, drive traffic as they typically get higher click through and they give you an extra surface area on the marketplace for visibility as there's a promotions page that buyers can shop with all the promotions on FAIR. We've also built out email functionality and a CRM within FAIR to keep track of FAIR buyers and to reach out to them to drive reorders. 
One feature, automations, helps brands drive for reorders by automatically sending reminders to buyers to reorder after 60 days. Again, you can set these up under marketing in your portal. Lastly, we have our free Fair Direct program, which has proven to be the best way to proactively drive traffic to your page on Fair. In fact, we see that brands that use the Fair Direct program drive five times the amount of orders on the marketplace as brands that do not. Uh, and before I talk a bit more about Fair Direct, I'd love to open up another poll to get an understanding of how well you all feel like you you know the Fair Direct program. So, Bella, if you could launch that, it it's the same answers as the last time: uh, very well, well, somewhat well, and not well. And uh, awesome. So the results are still coming in here. It looks like. Compared to the first poll, this one is much more heavily skewed to the not well side, Bella, if you wanted to, to publish these results. So this is great. This is, we will get into this, uh, but uh, about 61% of you guys do not know the Fair Direct program very well. So we'll go into that in detail. Uh, and only, if I can do my math right, 13% of you know it well or very well. So. Uh, that is why we're, we're having this, this webinar and can get into just what we view as the Fair Direct program. Uh, so Fair Direct is basically a wholesale management solution that allows you to offer fairs terms to your retailers commission-free and gives you a suite of tools to easily direct traffic to your fair page via a personalized link to your brand. So you can find your specific link on the Fair Direct tab of your portal. And again, any orders that you get through this personalized link will come at 0% commission and you can offer retailers fairs terms, which are net 60 terms and free returns on their first order. Additionally, if a buyer clicks through your personalized link and they're new to Fair, they will get $100 off and a free shipping for a year all of which fair covers. So you're not paying $100. The free shipping is just off your brand and you're not covering it. And returns, you're still getting paid uh, even if a, if a buyer uh, returns your items. Um, so how does this help you all sell better and ultimately drive more traffic to your page? One, we see that offering fairs terms helps brands close more business as the terms are better than you can typically provide. Offering net 60 and free returns really de-risks the initial purchase for the retailer. Additionally, for new fair retailers, the $100 off and free shipping for a year is a great incentive to place an order. And lastly, as you push orders through your link, it'll help your ranking analytics, which will ultimately increase your ranking on fair and generate more organic orders from the marketplace. Two, directing buyers to your page via your link can help mitigate risk associated with defaults and collections. We are going to bet all these retailers and we guarantee your payment on every order once it ships. And last, using Fair Direct as your wholesale management solution will ultimately save you time and money by eliminating services and costs associated with things like vetting those retailers, tracking down payments and underwriting. And it will also help keep all of your orders in one place that is easy to manage. Beyond the benefits specifically for you all as brands, it's also important to highlight that retailers typically appreciate being directed towards FAIR, which is a big reason that we've been able to get over 200,000 retailers on the platform. The ability to get net 60 terms is the biggest initial benefit for retailers as it allows them to buy items and sell them in store before having to pay for them. And this gives them financial freedom and flexibility that they haven't historically had. Uh, it also helps them with inventory costs and sell through rate as they can track what's selling and what's not, and they can return items for free on first purchases. To note again, you still get paid in full regardless of if an item is returned or not. Uh, but what we've seen on FAIR is that this policy gives retailers more freedom to try new brands as it's basically risk-free. Uh, lastly, for new brands to FAIR, the $100 off and free shipping for a year on the referring brand is a great incentive and cost saving for them. 
So now that we have a grasp on what FairDirect is and why both brands and retailers have loved taking advantage of the program over the past few years, I wanted to go into more detail on how brands actually go about reaching out to customers and potential buyers using the suite of tools that we have. So first, again, we do have a whole CRM and email marketing system for you within FAIR. Many brands start out by uploading any lists of customers, leads, churned accounts into the customers tab and quickly inviting them to order through FAIR using FAIR's email templates. The nice thing about uploading customers into your CRM, again, which you can do on the customers tab, is that our system can segment out your list so that you know things like which of your leads are already on FAIR versus not on FAIR. And with this information, you can then create different messaging for potential buyers that aren't on FAIR, where you emphasize the $100 off and the free shipping versus potential buyers that are on FAIR, where you just want to let them know to search for you and buy through your link so that you get 0% commission. Lastly, once you've uploaded customers and lead lists into your customers tab, you can start to use our email campaigns tool, which you can find under the marketing tab to send out regular emails to these lists, directing them to FAIR and marketing things like new products when you add them, new promotions uh, and things like that, just to keep them engaged and keep them uh, hopefully ordering through FAIR. Uh, and lastly, the email campaigns tool is the best way to drive reorders on the marketplace. So you will have a tab that has all the people that have ordered from you on FAIR and you can repeatedly send them emails trying to get them to reorder. Moving on from inviting retailers through FAIR's email tools, brands also have a lot of success at utilizing that personalized link outside of FAIR. The general best practice is to just use your link as the wholesale ordering option wherever you wanna do wholesale. Some examples of this would be including it in your marketing emails outside of FAIR, directing inbound requests to your link to order, putting the link in your email signature as a wholesale ordering option, including it on your social media pages and on your business card. Uh, and we've even seen brands have a lot of success in using it in paid advertising, if that is something that you're experimenting with on Facebook or Google. Uh, again, all the same incentives apply in regard to 0% commission, net 60, $100 off, free shipping uh, for new retailers. Uh, and it's a great way to, again, generate traffic to your page and start to build those analytics for that sales equation. So moving on from the link, uh, one of the most popular ways historically to use the link uh, was to hyperlink it on your website as your wholesale ordering option, so like order wholesale. As a result, we at FAIR actually created a more website-friendly version of the link called the FAIR widget. Uh, again, you'll see this under the marketing tab in your portal, and it's been a great way for brands to increase conversion on their website, again, by offering FAIR's terms. So you can see what the widget looks like here on the right. It's really helpful for retailers as it clearly lays out the benefits that they get by ordering through your wholesale option, uh, which we talked about earlier. Brands also like it because it means they don't have to pay commission on any orders through their website and they save time by not having to verify these orders or go back and forth on terms with potential buyers. So there's a, a lot of time saving uh, there. You can add the widget to your website by clicking into that marketing tab, going to widgets. And from there, if you manage the website yourself uh, and you can, you can copy and paste uh, the code and paste it directly onto your wholesale page of your website, or if you have a developer, uh, you can send the code with instructions directly to their email from the widget page. Uh, also, if, if you need some support, you can always email support at fair.com uh, if you want some support uh, or articles on how to get the widget up on your website. Great. So the last tool or feature to be aware of on FAIR is the invoicing feature which is something that's relatively new and something that brands were asking for for a long time. You can find the invoicing tool in your portal by clicking orders, and then it'll be right underneath orders once you click. Uh, the invoicing tool basically allows you to write orders to customers through FAIR and fulfill them through FAIR. 
Uh, the nice thing about the invoicing tool is that the buyer doesn't actually have to sign up for FAIR to accept the order and pay. When they receive the order, they have the option to sign up and get FAIR's payment terms, an initial offer of $100 off and free shipping. But if they don't want to sign up, they just pay for the order on shipment and you can track and manage and fulfill that order all through FAIR. So you can keep uh, all your wholesale together. Uh, another benefit of using the invoicing tool is that it's completely customizable. So if you want to offer one-off promotion to a specific buyer or offer different pricing to a buyer, uh, the invoicing tool allows you to do this. Uh, it'll also allow you to fulfill orders under your minimum, uh, break up case packs, add custom products. So it's just a very customizable feature. Uh, it's also a way to streamline inbound. Uh, a lot of brands will use invoicing for inbound if they get an inbound order and don't want to just send back their fair direct link. They'll just send the order via an invoice, make it very easy for that buyer to quickly order. Awesome. So I know I've been talking for a, a long time now, uh, but now that we've gone through what fair direct is and how to use it, I wanted to bring this all back to the initial question of which was the most popular question from the, from the RSVP, just how to increase sales on FAIR. The best way to increase sales on FAIR is to first make sure the merchandising of your page and products are optimized for conversion, utilizing the best practices we discussed. And then next, you want to proactively push traffic to your page using the various FAIR marketing tools and programs, as this will help you boost order volumes and analytics, which will ultimately help you build momentum and get more traffic on FAIR. A perfect example of this success story is a brand that onboarded in 2019 called Babyators, which actually sells kids sunglasses. Uh, they're very, very cute and they have uh, a, a great page and website. Uh, when Babyators joined FAIR, in 2019, they had a large list of leads as well as old accounts that had stopped ordering. And when they joined FAIR, they did a great job first at merchandising their page. It helped, they had a lot of cute little baby photos. Uh, and then they began to reach out to these lists of stores to use FAIR's incentives to try to re-engage these leads in lost accounts. Uh, this resulted in them winning back over a hundred customers and since then, they've added the widget to their website. They include the link in all their Babyator marketing emails, and they're effectively streamlining their wholesale business through FAIR. This was a more established brand on FAIR, but there's also a number of case studies at, at brands that are very new to wholesale that begin this journey with FAIR Direct. It's starting to drive all their wholesale business uh, through FAIR. Uh, the results... Uh, with, with Babyators, they were awesome. Uh, there was a 50% increase in sales, an estimated four hours saved per week in administrative work, and ultimately 90% of Babyators wholesale business going through FAIR. Uh, so with that, I hope uh, when we send a survey out after this webinar, that not well version of the, that poll uh, moves up into the well or very well, and I will pass it over to Bella to talk about what's ahead on FAIR. Thanks, Thomas. And um, hi guys, I, just again, I'm, I'm Bella and I'm in our brand success team in the UK. Um, and I'm just gonna take you through what's ahead. So first up, we've got um, a peek into the product roadmap, which is really exciting. So as FAIR continues to grow, we're, um, as you know, always looking for ways we can improve our product features for um, brands and retailers, so to further empower brands. Um, and we're just going to take a look now into some of the product features coming up. So the first item I wanted to take you through is our um, the work we're doing on our marketing and CRM tools. So um, you can continue to grow and scale your business. And our goal really here is just to make these tools as easy to use as possible. So you can continue doing what you're passionate about, which is obviously building um, your brand. Um, similar to this, we want to ensure that our brands on FAIR are rewarded for the great service that they're offering. So we'll be continuing to build out our new rewards program um, for our top performing brands on the platform and a rewards program as well for those using FAIR Direct. And these will just help to give you some more visibility um, in the marketplace so we can keep working together to grow your brand through FAIR. Um, we know that another key way to empower our brands is to ensure that our product features can match your requirements as a business. 
So the next um, few items on our roadmap will be around um, making it more scalable for you to run your business through FAIR. Um, so that will include discount, discounting at an item level, um, improving our invoicing system and growing our software integrations, such as um, some of the integrations we have already. Um, lastly, you may already know that FAIR is expanding rapidly internationally, um, which is really exciting. Um, we're now in the US, Canada, UK, Netherlands, France, Germany and Spain. And we're also hoping to expand into other European markets, um, such as Italy and Scandinavian countries soon. So please look out for these announcements. Um, but we'd love to see you have um, some more orders through our European markets very soon. Um, and next up, I'm just going to take you through um, the announcement you should have received today via email about our fair summer market. Um, as you may know already, FAIR started running virtual trade shows in 2020 um, with the winter and summer market. Um, these were a great opportunity for brands to connect with new retailers, gain visibility and promote long-term growth on FAIR. So we're excited to announce that we'll be running our second FAIR summer market from the 27th to the 29th of July this year. Um, FAIR's virtual trade shows are our biggest ordering days of the year. So this will be a great opportunity for you to grow your business further through FAIR. We'll also be bolstering this growth um, by matching some promotions you run as well. More, more details on that to follow. We'll be sure to send you over some more information on how you can participate in this. Um, but in the meantime, like Thomas took you through already, you can ensure that you get the most out of this event by keeping your catalog up to date, checking your pricing is accurate and inviting your retailers and leads to shop with you on fair ahead of time. Um, next up, we're just going to take a quick look through some useful resources so you can learn more about uh, FAIR and the wholesale industry as a whole. Um, so as we've already covered, um, Fair, FAIR's mission is to empower brands and retailers in all aspects of their business. And a key part of this is sharing information about like-minded entrepreneurs, um, the wider wholesale industry and FAIR's process and processes and policies. Um, you'll find some resources here that do exactly this and we'll be sure, um, as mentioned before, that these, um, this recording and these slides are shared around afterwards. Um, so firstly on this list we've got um, our blog called The Studio, where our team shares how-to guides and exciting wholesale industry updates. We also have a great podcast called Brick and Order, where we interview brands and retailers about their stories, learnings and industry trends. Um, and lastly, we have our help centre for both brands and retailers, which is an up to date guide for all policy and initiatives um, at FAIR. Um, thanks for listening so far. I'll now hand over to Hayley, who will take you through some of the Q&A's from the Eventbrite. Great. Thanks, Bella. Hi, everyone. My name is Hayley. I'm going to go over a couple of questions that were submitted beforehand, and then we'll also leave some time to go over some that were submitted during the webinar. All right, so first question was, how does FAIR promote brands? So first way is you'll initially be featured in our new arrival section for two weeks when you first activate. This is a great way to kickstart your sales and get in front of retailers looking to try out some new brands. Next, we have our search and discovery feature. This is what Colin was mentioning earlier. It's basically how brands are ranked on FAIR. Um, based on your retailer engagement and your brand performance. So all the analytics in your brand portal are all going to contribute to that ranking. We also have our featured and trending collections. These are curated seasonally by our team. You can also see them right next to the new arrivals section um, on the main page of FAIR. And right now we don't have any current paid um, marketing programs. We are working on them, but um, currently, we are testing on the brand rewards program that Bella was mentioning. Um, great. So those are the main ways of promoting our brands. And we go on to the next question, which is around international shipping. Go to the next slide, please. Okay, perfect. So we have two scenarios for shipping internationally. So First one is from the US shipping to the UK or EU. Um, for this one, we have two options. We can either use Ship with Fair or Ship on your own. Um, ship with Fair is where Fair will provide you the product tariff codes, product weights, printed packaging slip, and printed commercial invoice. So basically everything you need to ship directly to the retailer. Um, 
And just want to note, ship with, on your own is not available to the US to Canada. So you have to use ship with fair. Um, and then ship on your own is just using your own shipping um, provider and then handling everything with them. And then providing the, um, the tracking code and then the cost of shipment. And then we will reimburse you for that um, payment. Great. And then the next option is shipping from the UK or EU internationally, so to the US or Canada. So we only currently have the ship on your own feature right now. So you have to ship with your own shipping provider. And then again, we will reimburse you for the payment if you just provide us the tracking information and that's all handled in your brand portal. So for this one, retailers will be responsible for any import duties or fees. So brands are not gonna be handling that. Um, and this includes VAT from non-EU to EU member states. And then all the items will be notified to the retailer at the border. So the brands are not gonna be handling this, um, but you may need a list of package contents, a value of the contents and the country of the origin for that. Um, but yeah, then you're all set to ship directly to the retailer for those. And then we also had a question come up in the Q&A around international shipping that I can cover. Um, so we had Farina ask, is there going to be free shipping available to EU brands to ship to retailers in the US? And the answer is yes, we are currently running a promotion to all brands shipping internationally, both from the US to international retailers, as well as UK and EU brands to the US. So all, free sh all shipping will be covered um, by FAIR under this promotion, which is really great. So definitely take advantage of that. Um, and yeah, I will pass it over to Colin, I believe, to take the next Q&A question. Yes, thank you so much, Haley. Um, I think that the plan is uh, questions from the audience here. And just looking at the Q&A, we've got a bunch of them. This is fantastic. Um, even some about uh, international. Um, and one question I wanted to highlight here was um, we got a question from uh, Leslie who was asking, uh, how do I get started with Fair Direct if I don't have any retailers? And I think that's that's something, uh, especially for this audience, that's super pertinent. Um, what we suggest is we, you know, as we strive to make sure that wholesale is easy for you guys and going off Tom's presentation, that there are a couple of immediate strategies you can use to, to uh, start using fair direct effectively. And that can be things like creating a wholesale section on your website and putting the widget right there. That way that when retailers come to your website, look for products and want to purchase wholesale, that fair can do all the, the legwork of verifying these retailers. And sure enough, you'll get the orders commission free. And if it's the retailer's first ever order, the, you know, they'll get the hundred dollar credit and your free shipping. Um, and even uh, uh, in, in for our EU and UK retailers, we've since bumped that credit up to 200 uh, pounds as well as um, euros uh, to extend through through July 9th. Um, and then with that, as the kind of your wholesale retailer base grows, you can continue to send out your fair direct link and send out invites. So it's a great question. Cool. And I think Thomas, we're going to move to do another poll and look at uh, uh, kind of a recap for this, this event here? I think we may have, just because we have some time, we have a couple other questions here. Uh, I'm happy to take one just on sure. uh, Fair Direct and the cost that we went through and the payment terms, because uh, there were a number of questions from people on that. So how just the payment terms on Fair Work for brands is when you got that first order, you either selected to get next day payment, which comes at a 3% processing fee, or net 30, uh, where, which comes free of charge. So on these fair direct orders, that all remains the same. So say you're on net 30, someone clicks through your link to order or clicks through your website, they're going to get net 60 terms, and you're, but you'll still get paid out on net 30. So you're not like taking on the cost of that. FAIR acts as kind of the middleman there, and we take on the risk of collecting payment from these retailers after 60 days uh, and defaults in collection. So that does not pay your change your payout terms. 
Uh, and again, you're not like fair is covering the hundred dollars off fair is covering the free shipping uh, and fair is covering things like return. So if someone returns your items uh, that doesn't your payment is guaranteed once you ship on the payment terms that you have. Uh, and then it looks like uh, another question here that we wanted to answer. Uh, what is the best way to follow up with a store who has ordered once? Uh, Colin or Bella, do you want to take that one? I, I can take that one. Um, so you'll see in your customers tab on your brand portal the, um, the, the orders you've had so far. So for example, you'll see whether they've come direct through you or through the marketplace. Um, and there should be the ability in that section to email a certain contact list. So you'll see different buckets um, of different customers. So for example, you can pull a list of customers that haven't ordered from you in a certain amount of days, and then you can just click email contact list and contact them that way. Um, and that's a good way to follow up um, with customers that have already placed an order with you and just help to drive those reorders at 15% as well. Um, and then I think, um, I think I'm just gonna pass over for one more question on um, that we had around the con um, conversion rates as well. Yes, happy take on conversion rates. The question was, uh, what is considered a good conversion rate? Um, and this can vary uh, depending on uh, you know what category you're in and things like that. But what we've done and is on your analytics tab uh, in your brand portal, we will show kind of what the baseline is for um, conversion rates by category. And uh, you know our goal is to make sure that we can increase that for, for all brands. Um, and so if we can get that to double and, and use techniques like and strategies like fair direct or even events like uh, prepping for fair summer market, um, as well as making sure that like catalogs are up to date and pricing is accurate. Um, those are all inputs that lead to retailers finding products that they think are a good fit, purchasing confidently, uh, which can then lead to higher conversion rates. Awesome. And then just continuing on with the with the questions here, uh, I think they're all very helpful and probably uh, a lot of people have the same ones. The next one is just what are some promotions that do really well? Um, so it all depends uh, on kind of your margins and your promotion strategy. One thing that we do see is that uh, the percent off promotions tend to help you with uh, conversion rate and generating orders just because th there's three different options for promotions. Uh, again, this is under the marketing tab where you could do a dollar amount off, a percentage amount off and free shipping actually. And then you can do different tiers of promotions and select different, like if you only want to offer to new customers or only to returning customers, you have a lot of flexibility there. I will say, and anyone else can chime in here, we tend to see that percentage off uh, is is typically best between 10 to 20%. Obviously, obviously the bigger the promotion, the better. Uh, but why I typically recommend that is because uh, on the free shipping side, a lot of fair retailers actually, uh, we, we help them with shipping costs in various ways. And many of them are actually getting free shipping on orders anyways. So doing a free shipping promotion isn't gonna be as big of a pull for many of fair's retailers as is a percentage off discount. Uh, that's especially true. Uh, I know Bella went through the fair summer market, especially true during the fair summer market where we actually will be matching promotions. So you run a 10% off, we'll actually match that. So it becomes a 20% off where fair is covering 10% uh, of that cost. So hopefully that answers that question. And I will pass it off to Colin, just to wrap yeah. this up. Yes, we'll do a quick uh, recap here. I think we're going to do another poll quickly, uh, similar to the one we did uh, at the beginning, just to see how uh, uh, how we understand fair. Um, and here we go. We got that live. Feel free to participate in here. All right. Very good. Good to see. We got a lot more in well, even very well. Fantastic, about 70% of people have voted so far. We'll get, wait for the last minute or, so, or last uh, few folks to put in their votes. 
All right, fantastic. Last second, great published. Great. This is this is really good to see, um, and uh, very glad that uh, you know this information is uh, obviously informative and hopefully actionable. Um, and really, if we go to the next slide, what we're hoping to do is make this more regular and even do uh, webinars on future webinars on specific topics, um, whether this could be focused on UK and Europe, whether it could be focused on uh, strategies uh, in the US, uh, what have you. Um, but this is something that we, we want to build out. Uh, we plan just in next uh, more immediate terms of sending out a survey to get your feedback to see where we can improve um, what you'd like us to cover. Uh, we'll make this webinar accessible so that you can use it as a reference. Um, and uh, more importantly, we really appreciate all the time that you've you've committed to, to this webinar and glad to see that it's it's been helpful. Um, and we look forward to future ones. So thank you all so, so much for, for spending an hour with us and, and uh, looking forward to continuing this conversation.